hey, how much money can you make? You're a life insurance agent, how much money can you make? Well, let me tell you this, to get you excited, there are more millionaires in the financial services and insurance industry than any other industry in the world. So you've got the right vehicle, you're in the right place. I'm gonna break down how much money you can make. Because you can make, you can be average, and you can make 40 to 50K, okay? But no one wants to be average, right? You want to be a freaking rock star, am I right? Or you can say, I want to be above average, and I want to make $120,000 over the next 12 months. I'm going to show you right now how to do that and how I did that at 19 years old, in college, playing basketball, working part-time, and all I did was I ran the numbers and figured out I was a captive agent. I was making really low commission, but I figured out, hey, if I ask 10 people to buy every single week, if I ask 10 to buy every single, I don't care what product you're selling in the insurance business, I don't care if you're selling home and auto, life and health, it doesn't matter. If I ask, if I sit and ask 10 people to buy every single week, dude, I'm gonna make 120K because what happens is, okay, let's just say that you ask 10 and let's sell, let, let, let's just say that you sell Let's just say that your closing rate is at 40%. I'm gonna use this as an example. And, I, and you know what? You could say, well, Cody, that's bad. Well, you know what, it may be bad, but you may not be working leads. You may be cold door knocking. You may be cold calling. You know, everybody's different. Closing ratio will depend on what prospecting method you're using. So I wanna be very conservative. Let's just say you got a 40% closing ratio. So in that case, that's four homes. But let's just say that half of those homes are you sold couples. So you had two of the homes, you wrote two apps, but then let's just say the other two, you wrote four apps. So in that case, you're writing six policies. I've got the best handwriting in the freaking world. Six policies per week. You say, well, dude, that, that's a lot. Like if I, do, if I do that 50 weeks, I take two weeks off. I'm writing 300 per year. Okay, let's just say, well, let's just say you're selling final expense and you average, you average uh, like 600 of annual premium, which is also very low. That's the average size per sale. So say the person pays 50 bucks a month, that's $600 per year of annual premium. You say, well, Cody, that's, that's horrible. Dude, I'm trying to be conservative with you. I believe everyone can make this, and that's why I'm showing you how right now live on camera. 600 AP, you say, okay, if I sell 300 policies times 600, Dude, you could say, well, I'm at $180,000 of annual premium. Well, let's just say that your commission is not 100%, or let's just say that you get a nine-month advance. So right there, you're probably looking at about, depending on commission level, depending on the advance period, you're probably actually looking at bringing home about 90 to 150 k of actual real money this, this is probably low, this is probably about right, maybe low, depending on how good you are at making double sales in homes. But at the end of the day, the reason I like to look at numbers and the reason I like to break stuff down and the reason I don't like to be average and the reason I like to think big and make big targets and make big goals and take tons of action, all of this comes down to one thing. What is this whole equation, how much you make as an insurance agent, what does the whole equation come down to? It comes down to this. If you ask 10 people to buy week in and week out and you're deliberate and consistent about it, you will be able to write your own check. You'll be able to make this happen every year for the rest of your life. The reason why 92% of insurance agents fail is simply because they literally average. You know what the average agent does? They run about two appointments a week. Two appointments a week. Dude, so the average agent is gonna see 100 people a year, if they're lucky, and you're gonna see 100 people, more than 100 people, 120 people every quarter. You're gonna see 40, 50 people a month. Simply by, simply by seeing more people and by turning the equation on its head and getting in front of more people, you're gonna be, you're, you're gonna know more, you're gonna be better, you're gonna be, you're gonna have more skill. Because you can say, Cody, I don't have any, any insurance experience, who cares? I don't have any sales experience, who cares? If you get in front of this many people, you will learn 
what to say, when to say it, and what your presentation and process looks like. We've got over 800 YouTube videos right now on Security Mentors platform. You can watch one of those. It'll show you the presentation, what to say. Why don't we link that below in the video, in the description. Hey, here's, here's what you should say when you're in an appointment. Here's the full sales presentation. Here's Cody's four steps to running an insurance appointment. Because at the end of the day, agents are average or agents are average because they do not get in front of enough people. You say, well, Cody, well, how do I get in front of people? Well, there's various ways to do it. Your warm market can be a, an, an equation. Cold calling can be an equation. Cold door knocking can be an equation. Or you say, well, I've got, I've got a little bit of money. Like, you know, I want to get in front of good, solid people. Well, then at the end of the day, you need leads. And that's something that we do here in our office. That you can call 833-40-AGENT and have the best insurance leads no matter what state, no matter what lead type, and we'll hook you up especially life insurance, Medicare, final expense. At the end of the day, you do not want to be average. This whole video is about how a life insurance agent can succeed and how much money you're, you can expect to make. Well, if you're average, you know what you should make. If you're average, you know what you should do. But at the end of the day, you see 10 people, you'll freaking blow it up and always make, make more than six figures. Think big. Have a prospecting method in a system that is duplicatable week in and week out. You say, well, Cody, I want to see 10 people. Okay, then buy 25 leads. Have 25 leads to work. You should set about 12 to 15 of them as appointments. Say, well, Cody, I suck on the phone. We'll buy 30. Like, just do more. You could say, well, okay, I, if I set 10 to 12 appointments, that's more than 10. Well, they won't all immediately sit with you. You won't end up seeing them all. Some will cancel, some will port you, some will change their mind, whatever. At the end of the day, it's all about sitting and asking 10 people to buy every single week. If we can help in any way, I'm talking leads, training, coaching, a, a, a one hour strategy session, a consultation, free strategy session with our, with our business consultants. That's what we're here to do. We are here to help you and we want to help. If you need help, you know where to find us.